Hey everybody, how are you? Welcome to Deborah's Journey. If you are new to my channel, I want to welcome you. And if you are returning, welcome back. This channel is all about budgeting, cash stuffing, and I'm also documenting a student loan debt payoff. $50,000 to be exact. And today's video is dedicated to just that. I am going to be cash stuffing my binder and it's time to make a student loan payment. So let's see how much progress I can make and how many savings challenges I end up finishing. Stay tuned. Okay, so I hope everybody's having a good day. Today we had some very um, cloudy weather. Looks like it's gonna rain, but it didn't rain. It just was cloudy and a little cool. But I've seen some pictures of the snow and some of the weather out back east in the Midwest. And all I can say is be careful, stay safe and stay warm. And I'm happy that it's not snowing where I'm at because I wouldn't know how to handle it. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 125, 35, 141, 2, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 and 50. So I have $150. All right, guys. So it has been a long week. I don't know about you. I am tired and looking forward to getting some rest. Um, I have to make my student loan payment tomorrow. And so I need to add some additional money to my payment. And I do it through savings challenges. Once I finish a challenge, I use those funds to help go towards my student loan payment. So that is the plan. And I don't know about you, but it seems like these months are rolling around every three weeks. So it's not four weeks or five, it's three weeks because it's already time. I am going to scratch off two of these because I just want to kind of get a feel for what I have to stuff next. but. As you can see, I'm not going to finish this because I have too many of these that I have to work on. So let me just scratch off a couple and see what I have to do next. Okay, that's six and nine. Okay, $15. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to come back to this, but I owe it $15. So what do I want to work on today? This is a new challenge. This comes from Save with Tess. She put a little savings booklet together for all the people participating in her championship. So you want to go and check out Tess's channel because she is going to be doing her Deal or No Deal championship series. And I think um, out of five people, one of them will be the champion. And I'm one of them, guys, so please root for me. <laughs> okay. All right, so I am actually going to... Um, these are going to be worth $10. And these are really cute. She dedicated this to me. And it's a, a themed around the student loan because this is perfect. I'm working on my student loan. This is for the student loan. So each icon will be worth $10. And so there's a book right here. And so I will just put a little color on it. And then later I'll come back and finish coloring it in. But I will add $10 to get this one started. So this is my first um, $10 for this challenge from Tess. Okay, so I have the Have Your Take and Eat It 2. This comes from Marlene uh, Snow Gardener 307. This is a birthday themed, but I'm using this for my loan. And so it's a $50 challenge. So I'm gonna scratch off a couple of these cakes and let's see how much money we have to put in here. So this one is $2. This one here, that's only five. Okay, so we're at $7. I'm gonna do one more and eight so that's fifteen dollars seven and eight all right so 
So I'll take a 20 and you know what, I need change. So what I'll do is I'm gonna put this to the side to remind myself that I have to take $5 from one of those 20. This is the a challenge from from Laura, living on a tiny budget. It's a monthly challenge. So I'm gonna start January. I'm going to color in three of these sixes, so that will be $18 for this one. This one, I'm just getting started on it. And it's a winter monthly challenge. It's really cute. It's these little penguins. So I love the way they Look, they look so happy and festive. Okay, so I'm gonna add um, 18. And I have 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18 for this one. So I'm just getting this one started. I'm gonna go to Oktoberfest. I, now, it's clearly not Oktoberfest anymore. Oktoberfest is over. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one. It comes from Ellie on Earth. And this one is $5 for each little hat. So I have six more to do. I'm going to finish this completely. And then I will add $30 to this challenge and then I will be able to add this money or these funds to my payment. Okay, so let's get 30 or better yet. I have a lot of change in here so I think I will have my change. So I have a 20 and then I can put a 10 and two fives back. Okay, so now I need $30. So I have a total of $20, $40, $55, $65, $70. Finishing the Oktoberfest challenge. And so this money will be going to my student loan payment for the month of January. And so I'm going to get this here. I know I had to... Um, make change for one of these 20s. Put this five back. And so now I have a total of 20, 30, and five for the Have Your Cake and Eat It Too challenge. I wanna go to this one. This challenge comes from Fiona, Frugality is Life is her channel. It's a parent challenge. And I only need to add um, $35 to this and I will be done. So I am going to add 35. So that's 20. Thirty and five. Okay, so let's get our money in order and count it to make sure I have the accurate amount, which is seventy-five dollars. So that's twenty, forty, five. 55, 65, 70, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I have $75. I'm going to put my lines through this one just so I know I am finished with this challenge. So that's two challenges finished for my student loan payment. Owl saves. And this one comes from the Almost Organized Owl. I love her challenges. I love the owl theme. And so I'm going to go ahead and put $15 and $10. So that's going to be $25. I colored their eyes in, and so that's a start. So I need to put $25 in this. So that is 20. And here's five. I have a solo $1 bill in here. Okay, so I have a total of 20, 40, 60, 5, 66. I was able to put something in every envelope except the first one, this one. And I have 15 that I need to add to this. 
I don't know if I have 15, but let me see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow. I'll just put this dollar, and this will go towards my next cash stuffing. And then let's see how much money we have for this one. So I have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 dollars so far. I'm not in a real big rush. I'm just going to do them as I do them uh, because all of this money is going towards my student loan payment. So if it takes me a little longer for a challenge, then it's okay because I know that I'm focused on making sure my student loan has an additional boost. And last but not least, I collect D bucks because the D is for Deborah. And so I have been collecting D bucks and I'm going to keep collecting them. And then when I get to another 50 D bucks, Maybe I'll just do 25 because it takes so long to save 50 of these. And so if I get to 25, I will move that money to my student loan payment and then I'll keep going. So I did get quite a few D-Bucks. I got some from the store. I had some in my change from a purchase I had. And then Nita from the Almost Organized Owl she gave me some D-Bucks. So let's count and see how many I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine D-Bucks, you all. So that is a huge start, a huge start to my next go round. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But again, there's no rush. I save them as I save them. This tracker comes from Donna, powered by Creativity. It's a debug tracker, and I love it because there's a lot of entries on here, and I can just keep going. So that one is um, doing well. It's a, off to a great start. Now, let's see how much money I am moving to my student loan payment. I'm going to be combining all this money. All right, so what are we sending to our student loan payment for January 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. So I have $146. I'm going to take $4 out of my personal money to make it an even 150. And this money is headed to my student loan servicer so far. I hope everybody's doing well with their no spins and their debt payoff and that things are going great for January so far. Keep up the good work, everybody. And we'll continue to check in with each other and support. This debt payoff journey is not easy. Sometimes I want to give up or say, I just don't care, but I've got to keep going. I've got to stay motivated. And this helps me stay motivated by doing the savings challenges, finishing them, and helping to get that balance down a little more. So thank you for joining me. Have a good day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.